frequency splitter was a plugin or is a plugin that was a new plugin added to the FL Studio collection. And uh, it's a really cool plugin that we can take a look at. So let's jump into FL Studio. There are uh, There is a multiband compressor plugin. So we have, uh, if we go here to dynamics, we have multiband compressor and we also have maximum. So let me load these two here. And let's load the Maximus. So these are two of the multiband compressor plugins that we have in FL Studio. As you can see, we have this one with the low band, mid band, and high band. And then we have here three extra, uh, not three extra bands, but we have maximums, Maximus with also three bands that we can move around here, the, um, the frequencies and there. But let's say that you want to have four bands. You want to have a multiband compressor with four bands. Three is not enough for you. How, how can you do it? You can do that with frequency splitter. So let's bring frequency, let's bring patcher because that will be the best way to do something like that. And this is kind of an advanced tutorial uh, on how to use or how to do that. Uh, but it's a cool one. Uh, and I strongly recommend you start using patcher because uh, whenever you start getting a hang of it, you will have a lot of benefits when it comes to designing your own audio paths. So let's firstly add some uh, splitter, frequency splitter here. And let's open this up. And um, as you can see, we have three bands. But uh, I said, uh, okay, so, but I want four. I don't want three. Let's see if we have here. Uh, four band. I don't think so. I think we only have three. So how can we do that? First of all, we have to enable more bands or more outputs. So let's go here, outputs, audio, and uh, let's do uh, send one, send two, and send three. So let's disable this one. And let's bring some sounds into our project so that we can listen to something while we do some uh, testing. And for that, I'm going to bring some loops. This one is okay. Okay, let's bring this to channel to the channel one or track one. So now if I play, there's no, no audio coming in. So if I do this, so this is the all the bands. So if I solo one of these bands, uh, let me see how can I solo. Um, how can I solo the bands? Okay, mostly like this. So this is the mid band. This is lo the low band. And this is the high band. So now that I have all the bands here and you listen to all of them, this output here is the main output, which gives all the audio signals. So let's see now this one here. Okay, so this is not giving me anything. So what I can do here, as you can see, we have the sends. I can send this to port one, this to port two, and this to port three. And now in port one here, I will have the low end. In port two, I will have the mid end or the, the mid. <laughs> Uh, not mid end, but uh, the mids. Let me remove here. And then on port three, I will have the high end. So basically, I just uh, split it all these uh, frequencies into different outputs here so that I can manipulate them all. And uh, let's say that I want to add a compressor. Now I can go here, dynamics, and let's do a simple compressor. And I can add this one here. I would like to duplicate this. There's no plug no option to duplicate, so I have to manually load another thing here. So now we can add a new one. And now I can add a different, where is it? Here, another limiter. And now we have three bands or a multi-band compressor with three bands. And um, we can also disable the main output. So this actually is something like this. So it should be 
the let's see if this is the low end no it's actually the high end i don't know why this one switched to the um, thing this is the low end and this is the mids so i can actually do something like that i would like to have the lines going correctly but yeah whatever so high end mids and low end so but i said uh, we that i wanted a four band multiband compressor how can i do that uh, now i have to decide which band i want to subdivide so let's say that uh, i i want to bring this one here uh, no not that one let me change the reset the gain but this one let's say that i want to have it at around 100 hertz and i want to have the higher frequency from 5k up and then i want to split this band here the mid band what can i do i can go to the mid band which i think is this one yes and i can disconnect it from the the signal chain and instead of having a fruity limiter i will have another fruity splitter and where is it misc no new fruity splitter and now i will connect the fruity splitter here let me remove this connection and let's bring this one here and again i will do the same for this one i want to have only uh, i would like to have only two bands i know that it's possible to set only two bands i don't know where uh let's see let's see the okay now we have only two bands and um now i can send the lower band here and the higher band to port 2 something like that and we can still uh, check here the the not the gain the bands here actually yeah this this was the the button that i was looking for okay so this would be the button to change the crossfade of the bands so now I can do the same thing here audio disable the main output and send one and send two and let's listen to these two now so now i have from let me open this one let's put them side by side so now i have from 100 to 500 I think this is no 700 so i have 100 to 700 and then i have from 700 to 5k this was the point where i applied the other split so now if i go to this one here and i disable this one and i bring this one why it's not giving me okay because i did it wrong it's not this one is the high okay so now i have only the 700 to 5k and this way i can now bring again another compressor like so and add another compressor okay as you can see this can start to become a little bit complex and let's bring this one here like so and we can start adding our own um plugins so now we have if i play we will have the full uh, range of the audio and let's see if this actually applies some uh, um what's the word that i'm looking for if this change the sounding of the, the the sound or if it adds some coloring to the sound I cannot hear any difference in terms of the audio itself so this uh, split here is actually doing some some work so let's start for instance with the low end now actually this is the high end okay let's start with the low end which should be the lower part here and now we can add some compression here so let's go to the compressor let's bring the threshold down let's add some ratio Okay, and we can add some compression here. We can do 
the same thing here let's do a heavier compression in this one something like that we could add a little bit of gain i'm just just playing around with this and we could do the same thing here let's lower the threshold increase the ratio add a little bit of gain and bring the high end and let's do something like that so now we have four uh, multi-band compressor with four bands so let's listen now the before and after again this is just for demo purposes i'm not looking to uh, add compression to this um, drum loop but this is how you can split your channel into four or your audio into four different bands and add effects to them very easy and of course you could now save this preset maybe some reset all the the um, compressor states you could just go here default so that you have um, a default state oops not that default and default and now you could go ahead and save this preset as and save it as a four band multi band compressor that's what i'm going to do i will call this four band uh, multi or no four band compressor or four multi band compressor comp something like that and next time let's say that i'm working with a different project and i want to add that uh, preset that i created i just go here and I do four band for multiband compressor and now I have my multiband compressors here uh, that I can just quickly go through and start compressing my entire track in different with four bands and again you could do this with EQs you could do this with reverb let's say you only have to you only want to add reverb to a specific part of your track you could do this this way and uh, it's a excuse me it's a very good way to uh, do some processing again this was a little bit more complex a little bit more advanced but it's uh, a good way for you to start understanding a little bit more about patcher because this is a very powerful plugin that allows you to uh, uh, do some really really cool stuff when you start understanding how to use uh, this type of flows or workflows in audio